Today on TTS Support, we have a pretty long one from Kyle Jarrett. So Kyle asks, I'm just wondering if it's possible to do what I'm trying to achieve in TTS. Basically, I have about 100 circular tokens in various colors, and I need to randomly distribute them each into two separate zones, flat on the table, not just jumbled piles, and not just equal amounts in each, but randomly vary the split up so that the zones could have unequal amounts of tokens as varied as 35 and 65 in each zone. So, okay, let's jump right into TTS. And as you can see, I have conveniently set up 100 tokens of five different colors, so 20 for each pile. And immediately the first thing I thought of uh, to answer your question, Kyle, is that this can be done through scripting. At least I think the way you imagine it being done can be achieved through scripting. Unfortunately, though, there are no built-in tools within TTS that would allow you to do this at a click of a button. Now, that doesn't mean you can't do it, though. There are methods in which you can actually do this in a more realistic way, like how you would actually achieve this in real life. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate to you right now. So basically, it's like a board game, right? Because all of those scripting things, and they're cool, right? They're cool to have, but they're not realistic in the sense that those don't exist in a board game. So what I'm going to do is try to achieve what you want to achieve using the different components, the different tools that are available within TTS. And hopefully, it's going to help you, and hopefully, it's going to help some other people as well. So OK, so here are our 100 tokens. So they are just tokens right? that have been colorized and tinted a certain color. So they're white circular tokens, and I've colored them different colors. So we'll go to our objects and components and go to our tools. So the first thing that uh, Kyle wants to happen is that we want to randomize these pieces. So for that, let's get a bag from the tools okay, and drop it right in. And what we want to do is we want to put everything, every token inside. Now, the tokens are a little heavy because they're basically turned into 3D objects in TTS. So this is going to jitter a lot. So that's going to be normal. So OK, so if we just have that there, as we can see, the green ones are showing up first. But if you hover over a bag and press R for randomize or for random, you're going to shuffle the stuff inside, right? And then if we draw something now, they're different. So earlier it was just all, all green, and now it's green, green, blue, blue. Let's try that again. OK, and then it's blue, green, blue. Well, I mean green and blue, which is so strange. So let's do that again. Green, blue, white, there we go, and black. OK, so now it's actually coming up, and there's the orange and stuff. But yeah. Uh, Suffice it to say that it's going to be randomized, all right? So there's the randomized problem. Now, what we need to address now is you want the two piles to be separated into like a group of numbers, and that group should have a different number. So with that, we of course have a randomizing element in, in TTS, which is the die. So that's how I would do it personally. So let's go to, miscell uh, not miscellaneous, sorry. We'll go to dice. And then we'll get our 10-sided die, right? So we'll put two, so one for each digit. So we want to randomize a two-digit number, basically, right? So let's just color it differently, the other one anyway, so that we know which one's the ones and which one's the 10 place. Tens place. So there you go. So we'll say that the red is the ones place and the green is the tens place. So let's just give that a shake and boom, roll. What do we get? we get a nine and a five that might be a little too high but so let's randomize that again so there we go that's a better number i guess a 33 right so basically you want a pile of 33 and the rest which is 67 in another pile all right so that's our randomizing element now how do we get 33 of the tokens into our hand, or at least how do we distribute 33 from the bag? So uh, this is also a neat trick in um, TTS. So anything from a bag you can draw by typing in the number in your keyboard, right? So usually people just draw one, st one thing at a time. So they just press one over a bag and that'll draw it, right? But what people don't seem to know, not everybody anyway, is that you can type in any number. 
right? So um, if you have a number that's even higher than 10, that's possible for as long as you type that number in quick succession, right? So you're not waiting like, let's say you want to draw 10. It's not one and then zero. Just do one zero in quick succession on your keyboard, right? So in our case, it's going to be 33. So I'm going to type in 33 on top of the bag. So here we go, 33. Hopefully you heard that and there you go. We have 33 tokens in my hand and all you need to do is grab them and then put them on the board. And how do you distribute them in a nice pile as opposed to this, you know, this cluster of things? You can, while you're still holding it, right? So I haven't let go of my mouse button, uh, mouse cursor yet or mouse button yet. You can type in a number and that's how many rows you'll have and arrange those tokens in. So for now, I'll just do three rows maybe. That would be nice. There you go. So that's three rows of 11. All right, so you can even, as I'm still holding it, right? So it's still not on the table. So we can do four, we can do five, six, seven, eight. And that's super cool, right? I guess it only goes up until seven. So because pressing eight didn't do anything. But yeah, that's a very easy way to uh, basically arrange stuff on the table. And not a lot of people actually know that because this is one of the tricks that I actually learned pretty late in my TTS journey. But yeah, it's actually part of the basic tutorial of TTS, but I just forgot personally. All right, so let's do that again. So we need to draw 67. So I'll type in 67 quickly on my keyboard. And it's gonna take a while because like I said, tokens are a pretty heavy component in TTS. So I'll just um, marquee select everything. And then before I drop it on the table, just press a number, I guess, here, seven would be good. All right, and just drop it right there. Perfect. And there you go. That's basically it. And just to demonstrate to you that this is randomized. So try to take a mental picture of this. So it's green, black, orange, orange, right? Let's just say, and let's just put it all in the bag. All right. And then give it a shuffle, RRR. And then draw everything again, 67. Okay. Give it a bit. All right. And then marquee select everything and put everything there. And there you go. It is different. So it's now black, black, white, and black as opposed to the, was it green, green or something? But definitely different, right? So there you go, Kyle. Hopefully that answers your question. It might not be the answer you were looking for exactly, but I'm just here to demonstrate a possible solution to your, your issue or your problem or your challenge that you're actually um, coming across in TTS. And hopefully this has provided you and other people some neat tricks that you might have missed in TTS. And hopefully it's going to help you in your game design journey moving forward. So thanks everybody, hope you enjoyed this one. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment um, down in the description below or leave a comment on Facebook or wherever else I'll be posting this in social media. So thanks everyone and until next time.